Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a how cruelty free is my makeup bag. So in this bag here, I have got all the products that I tend to use more on a day to day basis. And I thought we'd go through them and see how cruelty free it actually is. Cruelty free is something that is becoming increasingly important to me and I kind of feel that everyone should be aware of it and then be able to make up their own mind over whether it is important to them or not. I'm not here to put how I feel onto anybody else. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to see how cruelty free this actually is. The first thing I have in here is my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. So this palette is cruelty free but apparently not vegan. So depends how you feel. I quite like it if it's both, however, I think cruelty free is the most important aspect to me so this is cruelty free the next thing in here is it is in my z palette but i literally only have it in here and it's my bleach london bones for continuity powder which is my contour powder that i use okay so yeah bleach london is 100 percent cruelty free and apparently they use recycled packaging wherever they possibly can so that's good. The next thing is the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Fixing Spray, which it says on the back is cruelty free and vegan. That's another thing. I need another one of these. Then we have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I tend to use most days. Okay, so Rimmel products are not cruelty free, so this is not a cruelty free product. So it's one out of four that is not cruelty free. The next product is the Illamask Loose Powder, which is really dirty. Illamask is against animal testing, so they are a PETA cruelty free brand, which is brilliant. I'm doing pretty well. The next thing is this LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation which I'm really hoping is cruelty free because it is my favourite foundation in the whole world. Yes, LA Girl products are cruelty free. <sighs> then the Tarte Shape Tape, and I know this is cruelty free and vegan I think, but yeah, I know this one's cruelty free. Then we have the Stilla One Step Primer that I use every day. Please let this be cruelty free because this stuff is amazing at moisturising and just nourishing your skin. Stiller is cruelty free which is another bonus. The next thing is my ABH Dip Brow Pomade which we've learned they're cruelty free. Then my Benefit Roller Lash. I have a feeling Benefit aren't cruelty free so I'm going to have a quick look. Oh I'm actually wrong. Benefit is cruelty free. I didn't think it was but yeah they are. Then I have the L'Oreal Life's a Peach and once again I think L'Oreal tests on animals but we'll check. Ah, so it says on the website that L'Oreal no longer tests on animals so L'Oreal is now a cruelty free brand which makes me happy. Next up we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have no idea if this is cruelty free or not so we will have a look. Okay, so the Physician's Formula also do not test on animals, so this is another cruelty-free brand. Uh, Jeffree Star, I know for a fact all Jeffree Star products are cruelty-free and vegan. And they're eye safe, so you can use any of the lipsticks on your eye and you'll be absolutely fine. You can use them like a liquid eyeshadow or something, or liner, they're fine to use. And then the literal last thing in my makeup bag is this Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. And Ofra is also a completely cruelty free brand. So that means out of all of my makeup collection, there is literally one item that isn't cruelty free and that is this Rimmel Stay Matte. So I'm actually really impressed. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I think seventeen. I don't know if I counted that, items, all of which, bar one, are cruelty free. I do think it's getting a lot easier to buy cruelty free products now because I think it's something most people are concerned about and they don't want animal testing. So I do think it's getting a lot, lot easier to find cruelty, pro cruelty free products 
without having to really search for them because everyone is hopping on board and understanding why we should be cruelty free. I have no idea where I got to, Phil just rang. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments how cruelty free your makeup bag is and whether it is something that is important to you or something you hadn't really thought about. Also, if you are new to my channel and you liked watching this, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you in my little YouTube family. It would mean so, so much to me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.